The heat continues to build against a Scientology drug rehab center here in Oklahoma. A protest is planned for the facility this weekend as a state senator says he will try to shut down the controversial program. News 9's Dana Hurtnecki is live in the newsroom with more. Dana? And all that is in addition to lawsuits from all three families of those who recently died at the facility that could be filed as early as this week. Gabriel Graves, Hillary Horton, and Stacy Murphy were all under the care of Narconon's Arrowhead facility within the last nine months when they died. Bottom line is three deaths in nine months is unacceptable. If this were a state facility, it'd be shut down immediately. Narconon is licensed by the state as a non-medical rehab facility, which means it's not regulated as closely as a medical program. But Senator Tom Ivester of Sayer says he will begin pushing for stricter regulations of what he calls unorthodox drug treatment programs like Narconon. And then I'd like to see a regulated facility that is safe for its patients and that uh, is a legitimate um, rehab facility that's uh, not not going to be a ripoff or just a scam. Former patients have told News 9 Narconon's drug treatment involves high doses of the vitamin niacin and five hours in a sauna. Attorneys representing those who have died at the facility also allege there isn't proper medical staff on hand and patients are denied essential medication. The CEO of Narconon argues the facility employs 190 rehabilitation and nursing staff but Ivester says clearly something isn't right, and he vows to do what he can to stop it. Well, I want this, the facility to be safe and secure for the patients who are there. Uh, second, I want a, a reputable drug treatment center, and uh, we owe that to the citizens. Now, that protest of the facility is this Saturday from 1 until 6. I am told people from as far away as Canada are coming into Oklahoma for that demonstration. Dana Hurtnicki, News 9. All right, Dana, we'll keep everybody posted on that. Also, the State Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse and the Pittsburgh County District Attorney's Office is investigating that facility.